the Department of Physics and Material Science at the University of Luxembourg. It contains about 180 people, which are divided in uh, 20 different research groups. And uh, what is novel about our department is that it's structured into five modern thematic axes that include soft and living matter, photovoltaics and sustainable energy, uh, functional materials, statistical physics and machine learning, and quantum science and technology. We've had recent successes, for example, reinterpretation of dark energy in cosmology to uh, novel solar cells that actually improve uh, world-class efficiency and also novel understanding, for example, of uh, liquid crystals. I'm leading the experimental soft matter physics group where we study liquid crystals and colloids and polymers. One of our specialties is that we study development of order in confinement of quite unconventional types, so fibers, tubes, droplets in particular. And that means that curvature and topological constraints become very important. So we have found some interesting effects like liquid crystals with negative order parameter, for instance. That's something you otherwise don't see. You find various types of soft matter in a lot of industrial products, from foods to clothing and plastics and so on. What we are particularly interested in is working with collaborators from completely different fields to see if we can solve problems of the future to using our unique materials. So, for instance, we're working with a robotics research group to develop a material for supporting robots and augmented reality devices to navigate in human populated spaces. I lead the laboratory for photovoltaics at the University of Luxembourg. In our department there are actually three groups working on photovoltaics and we concentrate on thin film solar cells and our motivation to do that is because they have an even lower carbon emission than conventional solar cells. Mm. No single solar cell can ever use the whole solar spectrum. And to improve the use of the solar spectrum, we use tandem solar cells. So there's a top solar cell that makes best use of the blue photons and let the red photons pass to the bottom solar cell and with this we can go to higher efficiency than with a single solar cell. So our speciality is we work on stable top cells and we have in a collaboration with the University of Uppsala, we have reached recently a record break in 15.6%. Mm -hmm. What is different for us is we work with charcoal pyrites, copper, indium, gallium, sulfide, and this is a stable material. We believe that this is a, a, a key factor to actually later make solar cells commercially. I'm actually leading a group here at the department which is called Theoretical Chemical Physics Group. And we work on extending the accuracy and applicability of quantum mechanics to large chemical and biological systems. This is uh, quite a novel work. It's also very challenging. But the main idea is that quantum effects manifest themselves at all scales of matter. And so it's uh, increasingly important for the understanding of complex uh, systems throughout uh, physics, biology and chemistry. For example, the methods that we have developed actually being applied on everyday basis in pharmaceutical industry. And that's what makes me actually very proud. But also increasingly uh, different IT companies like Google and Microsoft are actually using our methods in order to uh, apply it in their machine learning pipelines. I joined the University of Luxembourg two years ago. I am the recipient of uh, the FNA Attract grants. And thanks to this, I can build my own research team with whom we can develop uh, new ideas in theoretical physics. We look at uh, the dynamics of quantum systems and quantum features are very fragile and these systems are very noisy. Our work is innovative in the sense that we are trying to turn noise, which is a drawback, into our advantage. So instead of uh, trying to remove it, which is embrace noise and uh, use it to design quantum features that we want to protect. Today we saw the first colloquium of this semester and uh, that's a way for our department to play a role in the global science. So we invite renowned speakers uh, like Professor Weda who actually allow us to put Luxembourg and our department on the world map. 
The university is quite young, uh, but I think the, the department has grown quite rapidly by recruiting prominent scientists globally. Well, I'm deeply impressed by the excellence of, of their research and also diversity. My vision for the department is to become a globally recognized comprehensive physics department with uh, a local importance for the country of Luxembourg. We would like to grow, of course, but we would also like to play uh, a major role into the development of modern physics.